talked about evaluating algebraic expressions. So we're going back to that because we were here for two days to talk about it. So we gotta go back to that before we can do equivalent ratio expressions. So we're back to this. Right, solve equations using variables to represent quantities and understand the meaning of the variable in the context of the situation. So remember we took a word problem and we had to figure out how to write the expression and then they told us what the letter was worth and then we had to figure it out. Yes, yeah, don't make it. And then remember we talked about order of operations and we have to work it in the right order or we won't get the right answer. Okay, that's what we're going back to. Okay, so I have a problem up here, and I want you to talk at your team to someone who needs me. Come over here. Just bring it back. Um, you need to talk at your team to somebody who needs to read it, and then talk at your team what would the expression be that you would write down. And then just write it in your notebook. So just open your notebook to a blank page and write it down. I'm only going to give you like a minute or two. We're just practicing what we did Wednesday so we can move on. So somebody read it and then write it down. Jessica, can you read it and tell us what your table did? Sam has 10 coins, any five, any more coins, and a drawer. That's the expression that shows how many coins Liam has now. Okay, so would you come up here and write what you wrote on your paper? Okay, put your hand down, you three, and just wait a second. Give everybody else a chance to read it. Yes, okay, good. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. 
12 sketches of Sally, the first in evenly among her two twin pals, likely expressing the first animated sketches of her twin pals. She wrote 12 divided by P. Why did you do that? So what part told you divide? Because she split them. Okay, So when we split something up, we divide it, right? Okay. I'll have one more, and then we're going to move on to Operation is only. What's the operation? Ready? Um, no, no, no. I want to know the operation. Add, subtract, multiply, divide. Oh, uh, subtract. Subtract. Okay. What tells you subtract? Uh, uh, same. Huh? It says fewer. Fewer. Okay. Now, who's confident in the direction they wrote their expression? Because this is the one we struggle with, putting it in the right order. You're confident? You're not? <laughs> but you are. Did you write something different? Okay, you did. Okay, who thinks they can come up and show us and explain why you put it in the direction you did? Okay, right now. So we all agree that we're subtracting, but now the order that we write it is where we sometimes get confused. Can you put it down? wrote it like this. Raise your hand if you wrote it like that. Because I didn't say right or wrong yet. Just put your hand up if you did it. Come back here. Okay, so why did you write it like this? Because it says two sentences and then uh, it's a two it's a Because they said it first? That's not always what we want to go by. Get some help. Oh, I mean, because it says 41 fewer. Fewer than what? Than Edward. Which is? 41. Which is the P, right? So, okay, so it says David has 41 fewer peppermints than Edward. So this is 41 fewer than Edward. This is Edward fewer than 41. Do you remember how we talked about less than and how it always has to actually go in the end? even though they say it first, so we get all mixed up. Okay, so this is the one you should have had because 41 is fewer than David, which was, or Edward, which was P. Okay, you gotta remember that. That messes us up almost every time. Okay, now, we talked about order of operations until we can't hardly stand it anymore. We have a chart in the back, you have a chart in your book if you wrote it down, and you have a chart in your workbook. What is the first thing we do when we're looking at order of operations? Remember our little shorthand I put over here? What's the first thing, Dia? Transfer. Good. 
We always do parentheses and brackets first. Then what? Kevin? Exponent. Exponent. Then what? Multiply and divide. Then what? Okay, add and subtract. Now, these are the two we are messing up on because we forget you do it in the order that it appears. You don't always multiply and then divide. You might divide first if that's what's in the problem first. Same with add and subtract. You might subtract first if that's what comes first. But we forget that we do it in the order that it shows up. So, to practice that, I want you to copy down this problem in your notes. Copy that down. And then once you have a copy, 